Hello everyone, this is Rupal Gurohit and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Yeah, my dear friends, I'm going to explain you in this session some very simple synthesis of certain organic compounds. As you can see over here, we are going to discuss about acetylation of aromatic primary amine. First of all, my dear friends, we try to understand what is acetylation. Simple words, acetylation is addition of an acetyl group. And what is an acetyl group is? C double bond O CS3. Now we are going to introduce this group into a aromatic, means you understand this, having a benzene ring, primary amine. Now what is a primary amine is? See, amines are derivatives of ammonia. Okay, ammonia, you know the formula is NH3. So the replacement of 1H from ammonia gives you a primary amine. So we are going to write down over here, the general formula is AR, which stands for aromatic and primary amine, so that means it will be NH2. So introduction of an acetyl group into this, okay, so that is what is a primary aromatic amine. Acetylation is taking place, obviously, in this case, one more important thing is, it's not only addition reaction. Okay, it is, there is going to be some elimination also taking place. So I'll explain you the entire part. So, first thing is, I'll explain you the procedure and then we go into the reactions involved. Okay, so what we do is, in the step number one, we are going to take two cm cube of the primary amine, that is ARNH2, which has to be taken in a dry conical flask. Okay, I stress on this, it has to be a dry conical flask. Okay, that is point number one. Next thing is, we are going to add into it acetylating agent. It's a substance which is going to furnish, which is going to give an acetyl group. So, 4 cm cube of acetic anhydride. Okay, needs to be added into this very slowly with constant stirring. Alright, this is step number two. Alright, next thing is the reaction takes place in an acidic medium. So we are using concentrated sulfuric acid. So very, very cautiously two drops of concentrated sulfuric acid has to be added into this conical flask and very slowly swirl, I use this word, okay, very slowly swirl the contents of the conical flask. All right, next step. Heat the conical flask on a wire gauze for around 20 minutes. The temperature will be somewhere around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, 20 minutes, temperature is around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Alright, now very slowly move the conical flask from the water bath. Okay. Uh, so from the wire gauze and what you are going to do is pour the contents okay you can do it on a water cup bath as well or wire gauze but I guess this wire gauze is going to be better keep sure that the temperature is going to be around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius pour the contents into another beaker which is containing around 50 cm cube of ice cold water okay it has to be what one second i repeat ice cold water right it results in the formation of a white solid okay and that is the acetyl derivative of the amine okay so what you do is you filter it After filtering, do some washing, give some washing with water, dry it 
and take the weight of it. So this becomes a quantitative basis as well. Okay, do the filtration, ordinary filter paper, give some washings, two or three times with distilled water. Okay, and then you dry it and finally take the weight of it. All right. So this is about the procedure involved in the acidization. Now the reaction. Okay, how the reaction takes place. Now we are going to take aromatic primary amine. The best example under this particular category is aniline. So when you talk about aniline, Ar NH2. We are going to treat this with acidic anhydride, right? CH3, C double bond O, O, C double bond O, CH3. Okay, simple is you take two molecules of acetic acid, remove water molecule. So you get acidic anhydride. Right? Okay, now the bond breaking and the bond formation processes I always tell you. Okay, so that before I actually write down the products, you can get an idea that yes, what the products has to be. So, this one breaks, okay, next is, what is going to happen is, the, the bond between N and H is going to break, okay, and this H goes towards oxygen, alright, and then, this C double bond O C S three, which I was talking about, the acetyl group forms a bond with nitrogen. Okay, this is what happens. So now I hope you have understood what exactly we need to get. This is taking place in presence of concentrated H two S O four. So what we have is. NH C double bond O CS3. When I give the specific name to this anidine, so I need to give a specific name to this compound as well. Acid anilide. Okay, NH and then COCS3. And then what happens is what we have is CS3, COO, and this H. So you get as a side product, CH3COH. So it's not an addition product, you can just check it out over here. It's not an addition reaction. In addition reaction, we get only one product, which we call it as an addict. Okay? So here, the acetic acid is going to be eliminated, and we get the major product as acetylide. Okay? It's a white solid, the melting point of which is 114 degrees Celsius. The melting point is 114 degrees Celsius and it's a white solid. All right, my dear friends. So this is the simplest way of synthesis of an organic compound, which is acetylamide. Okay, I just give you a recap once again, and that is, we are here discussing about the acetylation of aromatic primary amine. And the best example we can give you is aniline. So the steps involved in this synthesis are in front of you, just check it out. First step, 2 cm cube of aniline. Okay, it's a liquid. You need to take it in a dry conical flask to which you are going to add 4 cm cube of acetic anhydride. Right? Constant stirring with the help of a glass drop, very slowly, with the help of a dropper, two drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Very slowly swirl the contents of the conical flask. Heat the conical flask on a wire gauze for around 20 minutes, the temperature of which is going to be around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. And then very slowly pour the contents into a beaker. The beaker contains 50 cm cube of ice cold water. So already ice cold water has to be there in the beaker. And then you're going to pour the contents into it. Okay. It results in the formation of a white solid. You need to filter it, give some washings with uh, water, then dry the product and weigh the product. And the reaction is here in front of you, aniline plus acetic anhydride. Right? The reaction takes place in presence of constant sulfuric acid, resulting in the formation of the final product that is acid analyte. And of course, you get a side product that is acetic acid. And the information regarding acid analyte is it's a white solid 
with a melting point of around 114 degrees Celsius. So I'm sure you have understood this synthesis very well. Thank you very much.